Hi, hello, welcome to Getting Computer Gaming. Welcome if you are new. You can call me KK, and today we're doing another Touch of Magic lookbook to bring a little spooky ween here to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Today's challenge is inspired by Dreamlight Valley Adults After Dark, the amazing Facebook group that I always have linked down below. So if you want to participate in any future Touch of Magic challenges, be sure to click that link down below in the description box and join us over there for some fun weekly design challenges. Now, let's get started. We're starting off today's challenge, of course, in my Touch of Magic room using the ever elusive Daisy Boutique dress. I know I've been using this dress quite a lot, but it really and truly is my favorite to design. And I'm just going to take this like ripped materials motif and put it into a lighter shade of green than the dress and just wrap it around the whole dress to kind of give the dress some texture. We're going with a skeleton fairy theme this week. And I kind of wanted to use, of course, our resident fairy Tinkerbell as my model. So my backstory behind this design is the belief of fairies has dissipated and Tink has lost her magic. The Lost Boys have all but deceased. Peter Pan is no longer around and Tink is just trying to survive as she decays and rots. So this is where our theme is taking us. I am just using some of these squares and making them as close to her skin color as possible to try and look like a lot of the dress has been torn. I really love how the use of this motif is so jagged on the top and bottom that it adds that ripped effect without me having to do any extra steps and it really just creates the perfect silhouette here. Now to create the peaking of our decaying favorite fairy. I'm using that same motif and we're just going to change it to a red color and then I end up adding some of these half circle lines or quarter circle lines, whatever we want to call them. It's a curved line to make it look like the ribs are peeking out and this took a lot of layering to get it to look correct. Honestly, it took me up until I got all of the rib cages on to remember anatomy that muscles go over the bones, not under. So I do adjust that in the end. Now, no apocalyptic skeleton fairy is complete without tattoos. So I'm using a lot of this line work motif options that we have, and I'm kind of just placing them all over where Tink's skin is showing on the dress. And I absolutely love using a lot of the villains motifs. So we had this poison apple, and then on the arm, we had the stack of villains, which I believe was Maleficent, Ursula, and somebody else, but I don't quite remember who it is. Of course, in honor of Captain Hook, we are using Captain Jack Sparrow's pirate symbol and this haunted mansion vignette thing. <laughs> now to add a little more gore, I am going to take this ombre motif and turn it red so it looks like the blood is just kind of sloshing out of that decay. And then taking our wonderful paint splatter motif and putting it in a dark red and just splotching that all over the dress. Now remember when I said that the belief in fairies had dissipated? Well, everybody that stopped believing in Tinkerbell ended up as a jewelry statement piece on her dress. So we are just going to have three skeleton motifs, each in a different color and size, just kind of dangling off her dress. And this is Tink's way of reminding everybody to not forget your fairies. Now to add to even more of the decay, I did end up adding some gloves 
and did my skeleton hand trick like I did in my zombie speed build. We're going to go back in with that ripped materials motif in red to create the muscles around the hands. I think this just added that little bit of extra something. And now for the final touches, we're going to go ahead and add this face paint. I think this was from the Monsters Inc. update, but I don't quite remember. And then the blush, I'm turning white because I do still want her to almost look like a skeleton. We have blood stripped hair, of course, and then Tink has lost herself to the madness. So she kept her bright green eyes, but they're just a tad bit spooky. She loses her amazing fairy wings, and now we have the decaying Tinkerbell. Here she is in all of her glory. This is probably one of my most favorite designs. I think I said that about every touch of magic design that I do, but this truly is one of my favorites. I wish we had more options to do more spooky type stuff here in the valley, but of course, this is Disney, so it's not quite always possible. And that's going to have it for this week's A Touch of Magic lookbook design. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this design. Do you have any other Touch of Magic designs that you would like to see created? Let me know and I will get them started for you. Now, if you guys are wanting to participate in this challenge, be sure to check the description box down below. There are two amazing Facebook groups linked down there. One is Dreamlight Valley Adults After Dark which is the group that did this challenge. And the other one is Dreamlight Gamers, formerly known as Dreamlight Valley Multiplayerverse. Both groups are so much fun and dedicated to helping the community of Dreamlight Valley. Each week we have different themes, giveaways, and prizes that you're not going to want to miss. And while you're down in the description box, don't forget to check out all my socials linked down there. That's Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. And if live streams are more your thing, I try to stream at least two to three times a week over here on YouTube and on Twitch and at least once or twice over the weekend over on Twitch only playing a variety game with my husband Broke Pixels Gaming. Be sure to check my Discord and Twitter for my updated posting and live schedule. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and if you do enjoy this type of content including all other cozy game content don't forget to click that thumbs up button it really and truly does help me in the algorithm and click that subscribe button and the notification bell. It'll go ding in your inbox every time I post. I am a small time content creator looking to grow her channel in 2024 and I hope you guys will continue on this journey with me. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching this a Touch of Magic a Skeleton Fairy lookbook design. I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys.